This video will show how we can use the aggregate demand aggregate supply model to explain the effect of fiscal policy on the output of the economy. If you're not sure about aggregate demand aggregate supply and how changes in aggregate demand work, you should watch the videos on those topics first. Fiscal policy refers to the spending decisions of the government and is set out in the budget each year. The fiscal policy stance can be either expansionary or contractionary. An expansionary fiscal policy occurs when the government increases its spending compared to the year before. An increase in spending will lead to an increase in national income, and this can be shown on the diagram. Originally, the level of government spending is G1, and this leads to an aggregate demand curve of C plus I plus G1 plus X minus M, which we'll, we will call AD1. An increase in government spending will lead to aggregate demand moving upwards from AD1, moving up in this direction, from AD1 to AD2. And aggregate demand 2 will be equal to C plus I plus G2 plus X minus M. The level of increase of government spending is this amount of expenditure here. And it happens regardless of the level of national income, and so it's a parallel line all the way across. You would expect from an increase in spending and an expansion of fiscal policy that will lead to an increase in national income. So national income will move from NY1 to NY2. We can see that there is a multiplier effect, that this distance here, the increase in government spending, is smaller than, the, than what we end up with the increase in national income. So the level of national income increases by more than what government spending in increased by. And this is called the multiplier effect. The government will use an expansionary fiscal policy if they want to increase national income. And this may be in order to promote economic growth or reduce unemployment. The government may also use a contractionary fiscal policy. With a contractionary fiscal policy, the government will spend less than they did in the previous year. And so now aggregate demand will be lower than the previous aggregate demand. So aggregate demand 1 will shift down and we'll move from aggregate demand 1 to aggregate demand 2. Aggregate demand 2 will be equal to C plus I plus G2 plus X minus M. And we know that G2 is less than G1. And the amount by which G2 is less than G1 is this amount here. Again, we will see that this will lead to a decrease in output and we will move from NY1 down to NY2. And again, we'll see that there is a multiplier effect, that the, the decrease of national income is greater than the decrease in government spending. The government may decide to do this in order to lower the level of inflation or to reduce debt levels.